Everybody's excited about the crafter and the copper bulbs, myself included, but we also got the tough family of blocks. And as a geologist, it's always exciting to get more natural materials into the game. Tuff was added back in 1.17, but I really haven't talked much about it. If you don't know, Tuff is a type of rock formed from volcanic ash. We call it ash, but really it's just small particles ejected by a volcano that are less than 2 millimeters in size. Magma often has gases dissolved in it, just like a carbonated soda. As magma rises and it gets closer to the surface, there is less pressure put on it, and the gases can start to expand. This can happen very quickly and can be very explosive. <laughs> magma can also interact with groundwater as it rises, which causes the water to flash to steam and also cause explosions. I know that I said the next geology video I was going to make was about ores, but when the snapshot came out, I couldn't pass up talking about tough. So I quickly made a model of a volcano. When a volcano erupts, it ejects a lot of material. Most of this is lava, but some can be large and we call those lava bombs. The material we call ash can form layers as it rains down around the volcano and it accumulates in layers to form tuff. Tuff can basically be any composition of volcanic rock, but it can also have a lot of other material in it besides ash. Let me quickly put up the fire. These explosions can also break up some of the host rock or old volcanic rock and toss it out with this lava. Most of this will end up back down around the opening and it can actually form the volcanic uh, cone, the shape that we're familiar with. In real life, if the resulting rock is more than 75% ash, then we call it tuff. The other class in this piece here are older pieces of tuff that got ejected out of the volcano too. If it has between 25% and 75% ash, we call it tophaceous and then whatever the rest of the rock is. This piece here is mostly obsidian and it's held together by tuff, so we would call it tophaceous obsidian. Sometimes it can have layers preserved in it like this sample. When it is first deposited, tuff can still be hot enough to flow and some of these samples have volcanic glass making up some of these layers. It can be classified as an igneous rock or a sedimentary rock. Usually, if we're talking about the composition, geologists talk about it as an igneous rock. And then if we are talking about its structure, we use sedimentary rock terms. When it cools down, the tuff usually has a lot of pore space or air cavities. The sample here is 576 grams compared to a similar sized piece of granite that is 1,216 grams. They can be heavy though. This is another tough sample that is 1,086 grams. Its density is dependent on many things like how much gas is present in the lava, how cool it was when it was deposited, how old the rock is. Sometimes the pore spaces can be filled in with other minerals over time. Most tuff is relatively soft for a rock, which makes it an easy stone to cut and carve. I can cut this one easily with just a normal saw. Throughout history, people have used tuff as a building block. Early civilizations often used tuff when it was available, either carving directly into the rock or taking blocks to build elsewhere. The Moai statues on Easter Island are actually carved from tuff. The downside to using a soft rock to build things is that it usually doesn't stand up to the test of time. It's interesting that the tuff family was first shown in the trial chambers, which I assume are supposed to be ruins of an old civilization. It would be cool if Minecraft had biomes with tuff, not just veins or blobs, so this new structure could be in it, instead of what I assume will be just buried like a stronghold in whatever the normal rock is. I'm excited to have these new blocks in the game, and I just wanted to make a quick video on them. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.